Don't worry, I'll be brief. By the grace of God. <laughs> Shall we go Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20 to 21? Everybody, let's go together. One, two, go. <clears throat> Second Chronicles chapter 20, verse 20 to 21. Let's go together. And they rose early in the morning. Shall we read together, Church of God? Can I have somebody hold a microphone? Give microphone to our, my office admin. Uh, my, my, my voice is deep. Your own is deep. There's no balance. <laughs> <laughs> let's have balance. All right, let's go. Want to go? And they, and rose, they rose early, early in, the in the morning and went forth into the wilderness of Tekoa. Mm -hmm. And as they went forth, Jehoshaphat stood and said, "What did he say? Hear me, O Judah." Let's read. Want to go from there? Hear me, O of Jerusalem. Let's go again no. from O Judah. Want to go? Hear me, hear O, o Judah. Judah, and, and hear inhabitants of jerusalem mm -hmm. believe in the lord your god so shall you be established believe his prophets so shall you prosper so i'll share the same thing i there is a connectivity with prophetic mantles that bring about prosperity there is a connectivity are you hearing me so this morning i'm going to be sharing again prophetic connectivity that puts you on the Bilonia's lane. Connecting to your prophetic midwife. Your prophetic destiny midwife. I'm going to use that word midwife. Why would this Bible say it's so strong? Believe in the Lord thy God and you shall be, believe in the Lord your God and you shall be established. And believe in his prophets and ye shall prosper. You can be angry with that scripture, but it is real. This is not about me. I'm just telling you something that is a, one of the secrets. You can't find any man that is doing well and who will last doing well who does not have a priesthood behind him. Either it is negative or positive. Anywhere, something, if you see somebody dancing without a beat, he's hearing a drum you are not hearing. Something is beating drum for him. You cannot see anybody who rises. Anybody can mistakenly rise, but if they are going to remain up, there is always a prophetic priesthood. Somebody shall be hallelujah. Whether it is negative or positive. Are you hearing me? Any, whether it's negative or positive. Scripture says in Hosi, Hosi, Hosi or Hosea, chapter 12. Take it, give it to us from verse um, from verse um, 12. Hosea 12, 12. Please. Hosi 12 12. Hallelujah. Hosi 12 12. Hallelujah. Let's go together. And, and Jacob, Jacob fled into, into the, the country, country of, of Syria. Syria. And Israel served for a wife. I want wife. you to pay attention to the scripture. Israel served for a wife. wife. Do you need to serve for a wife? So, hello? So if somebody wants to marry, they go and serve their father in law. Please talk to me. Is that the principle? For this man was so, in such a bondage that he had to serve for a wife. How many years did he serve? 14. 7 for the, for the one he was not looking for. Another 7. How many years do you have to live if you have to serve for a wife now for 14 years? Something was wrong with his destiny. And then the next scripture brings it out. Tells us. Let's go. And Jacob fled. Yes. Go to that verse again. Verse 12. Let's go together. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And Jacob, Jacob fled, fled into the country of Syria. And, and Israel. Israel served for a wife. And for a wife he kept sheep. For a wife. The Bible is repeating. For a wife he kept He kept man. He kept, he kept, for a wife. For a wife. I wonder. The, the, the love was strong. <clears throat> For a wife. How many people can try it in this generation? To keep man for 14 years. Then the next verse now says something that we like. Let's go one to go. And by a prophet, the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. Uh -huh. And by a prophet, he was preserved. And by a prophet, he was preserved. By a prophet. The story changed when the prophetic covering was introduced into his life. I'm going somewhere. I have observed that 
Anytime I meet somebody, for example, I meet a, a, a young pastor that wants to jump into ministry. I will first of all, I ask him, who is your father? Who is your covering? Who are you accountable to? Because Amos chapter 3 verse 7 says, Surely the Lord will do nothing. It is what the Bible says. Surely the Lord will do nothing. But he revealed his secret unto his servant, the prophets. The prophecy, the prophet, I'm not talking about somebody seeing that you are wearing a red pint and a, a blue boxer. That's not uh, where we are going. Prophetic is, is, is bigger than that. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Can I hear a big hallelujah? hallelujah? So, hear me like I told them this morning, I'm telling you, hallelujah. Everything under heaven flourishes under the right environment. There is no place rice grows in Asaba. Anybody you see planting rice in Asaba, it is not a serious rice. Tell me, true or not true? Are you here? There is no place. My I went to farm with my father. The yarn we plant in, in clay soil is different from the one we plant in red soil. Is there anybody that, is, that went around the farm like I did? Yes. That is it. So much. Everything glow, grows around the right environment. If you plant corn on this concrete, it won't grow. Everything grows. Every seed needs the right soil to grow. Every seed. Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? Every woman needs a right midwife to deliver. Do you know that the midwife that handles your case can either lead to complication or ease? Sometimes. Every eaglet, eaglet is baby ego. I don't know why they call our football team. Is it what they call them? Golden eagles or golden eaglet? Super eagles. But there's one they call eaglet. The junior ones. All right. That is a baby ego. Is a uh, eaglet. Hallelujah. Every eaglet becomes an ego under the mentorship, under the tutorship, under the training of another ego. It is billionaires that raise billionaires. Either by observation, either by transfer, either by association, either by connection, something. Who is hearing me here? You already know. If you don't know, let me give you a brief story about the ego. The mother ego builds its nest on mountains. It doesn't build its nest around the trees that anybody can assess. Mother ego. That's why you don't see. You can see uh, early morning bed. Have you seen any, any eco bed around here in the morning making noise around your window? Eh? So because the eagle is the king of birds, he builds his nest on the mountain. He uses wood another thing and then put some grass for pillow it is said that the mother ego after the egg has hatched it will go out and then come and then give the children food the eaglet the baby eagles it will come they will open their mouth comfortably open their mouth and then you will put the food in their mouth and they will say mother is good it's good to have a good mother it's good to have a good father and it is that comfort zone that makes certain eaglet not to become eagles. Are you hearing me? I saw a nest of a of, of a nest of an, an, an eagle, a bird nest. The birds were dead. Because their mother went out and the mother was dead. And they didn't know their mother was dead. And they were waiting. Ah. And nothing came. And they died in their nest. You won't die in your nest. So the mother eagle at a point will... When he noticed that the children have grown and their wings have you know, started coming out, he will take his beak and his leg. You know, he has a very... Do you know that eagle can catch goat from the ground? And he will tear the nest. So the children will start crying. He will tear the nest, scatter the nest, scatter everything, pull everything away. And the eaglet, the, mother, the baby eagle will be shouting, Madness have come upon our mother. Oh Lord, deliver us. Father Bosa, come. Come and do deliverance for me. Something is wrong with my mother. Let me book deliverance. I have book express. That is an emergency case. <laughs> and then Father Bosa will come and do deliverance. I said, there's something wrong. And then, so the mother ego will carry the baby ego and throw the baby ego off the cliff. Throw it out of the mountain. True life story, true life documentary. Throw it out of the mountain and the baby eagle will be falling and falling. And then before he hits the rock or the sea or whatever is under, the mother eagle will dive and carry it on, eagle, on eagle's wings. 
and carry it back on the mountain. And the baby will testify. Pastor, I have a testimony. <laughs> Last week, my mother was mad. This week, her brain has corrected. She threw me out of the house and has brought me back. And after testimony, mother, I go will feed them for a little while and throw them out again. He will repeat this process until one day, the baby ego, all of a sudden, accidentally, just discovered that mistakenly spreads his wind and just discovered that oh, he can glide on the wind. That he doesn't need to be afraid of the wind. And then all of a sudden he will start gliding. And then when the mother sees that the baby is gliding, the mother will fly after it. And that's how they will be gliding. They will be gliding and they will fly back. By then the mother ego, the baby ego has been discovered. Many people, what destroys them is comfort zone. Many people are destroyed by wrong mentorship, wrong covering, wrong coach. We, wrong covering, wrong coach, wrong spiritual covering, wrong mentorship. There are things that will not come out of you until you are under the right cover. Politicians do this. It's only Christians that will not pay attention. Some people are going to Federal House of Assembly because of P2B. Who knows them? No pedigree. Who knows? Who haven't been anywhere. Just that the party was looking for people to fill in spaces. Let them look like a party that makes sense. Okay, you go there, you go there, you go there. You know? No one naira. But because there was a what? A covering. Buhari could not win an election until he connected to a strong man that has what? Taken over the West. He couldn't win election. No zone in this country can win election independent of the other zone. And that's the truth. He couldn't win. There are names we are hearing. There are no bodies if not for the parties that are backing them up. This thing called God for that reason, it will never die. Take it or leave it. But Christians don't understand that there are coverings in the office, in business, in finance, in ministry. There are people you connect to, your destiny will start seeing light. There are places you stay, your light will quench. Your talent will die. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Who understands what I'm hearing now? Do you understand me at all? It takes an ego. A, a, a vulture cannot raise an ego. Who are you connected to? Who is your destiny midwife? Christianity should not be membership to you. It should be destiny connectivity. Nothing happens by accident. And nothing continues to happen by accident. I have watched it. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Can I hear you shout a better hallelujah? Can I hear you shout a better hallelujah? Genesis chapter 13 verse 5 says that Lot which went with Abraham also had give us the scripture that Lot which went with Abraham shall we go together everybody give us from verse 4 let's go from verse 4 let's go together from verse 4 what does it say let's go together I want to go unto the place of the altar yes which he had made there at yes. the first yes and there Abraham called on the name of the Lord Abraham called on the name of the Lord uh -huh. what happened in the next verse and Lot also, and all, all Lot also, which, which went, went with, with him, Abraham, had flocks and herds. Why? And because he went with a man that was calling on the name of the Lord. He had flocks, he had hats, he had heads, and he had tents. That's why some of you I look and I laugh, like I was speaking earlier. You know, you don't know why I'm excited. Some of you already said, some of you single ladies and single guys, you are not married. I'm just looking at you. You know why? <laughs> you have no idea. Your marital life is already settled. It is so beautiful. Like you have no idea. You have no idea. That you are going to have marriage so good. You will ask yourself. What is it that I had before that I wanted to die for? You are going to ask yourself. What was that? Because there will not be a resemblance. With what you had before. With what God is about to give you. Why? Because of the 
connectivity. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? Yes, if you are hearing me, say, I hear. Yes, yes. And Lord, which went with him. You can see it from Moses and Joshua. You can see it in the life of the children of Israel. Praise God, somebody. Somebody shout a very big hallelujah. hallelujah. You will not miss your own in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will not miss your own. So I'm using prophetic midwife to refer to this. And I'm going to tell you what happens when you are connected to the right prophetic midwife. Who is a nurse here? Who is a midwife here? Can I see your hand? Thank you very much. So, you and I are going to take this journey. So, number one thing that happens when you are connected to the right prophetic midwife, you understand your destiny time for delivery. The time to give birth. Are you hearing what I'm saying? For thou shalt arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time. You don't tell a woman to push at seven months. It's not your time. So, you understand timing. Many people don't understand timing. Some of you, if nobody tells you it's time to get into politics and all that, and go and take a stand, you will just be goofing around and be, and be a political escort. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. hallelujah. Some of you, if nobody tells you it's time to marry, that's how you have you know, you know, three girlfriends every week. One come on Monday, one come on Wednesday, then the other one come on weekend. Some as I speak to you, they have girlfriend in the house who will not go to church with them. They come to church alone. She's there. Watching Telemundo. And then you will come to church, carry fire, and then go to the house and meet a fire quencher. She will quench your fire. And you tell me, Pastor, I don't know why things are not working for me. <laughs> Because you have a fire quencher in your house. You collect grace. Are you hearing me? And as you step in, the grace will meet with quarrel. Why are you just coming? Now, now church, they close. You that didn't go to church is asking the one that went. Continue. They play. Just they play. <laughs> are you hearing what I'm saying? So that is it. So the midwife said, no! This is not the time for this. Don't do that. Don't do that. Do that. Go home. Come back in three weeks. A prophetic midwife. Come back in one week. Do this. I told a singer in Bonsac. I said, go on 14 days fast. And after that, get one bottle of oil. Let me put on your head. He thought I forgot. I look at him. I said, continue. You don't want your star to shine. Did I say fast for me? I said, go. You're, 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 you're not sounding right. Something is missing. Your voice is biting to the ear. There is a sweetness and an acceptance that your voice doesn't have. That's a midwife. When you are connected to a prophetic destiny midwife, number what, what happens? Number two, are you interested in this? The push becomes properly directed. The push. The push. Hello? You don't say because I'm pregnant, you just open your leg and give birth. Please talk to me. Talk to me. Mothers, talk to me. Nurses, talk to me. You don't just say, I want born. There is a direction. They direct you. Nurses, talk to me. You position the woman before delivery. Talk to me. Is that not so? The push becomes properly. There is a way you are positioned. Position yourself in this field. Position yourself in this field. Go into this kind of job. Are you, you are positioned. You don't say uh, you won't show your legs. Say, uh, you know one born. Uh, let me ask anybody. You know one born. Say, neighbor, you, don't want, you know one born. You know one born. He said, nurse, don't look at me. <laughs> you want, do you want to give birth? Is there anybody here that has gone into the labor room and you are looking at who is looking at you? Who send you? Who do you send? In fact, some nurses are so brutal that if you don't behave, they slap you. Come on! Put your leg well. It is destiny correction. The same thing we do in church. When we come, say, the way you are doing Pay people that you owe. He said, what are going to tell me? No, I don't need anybody in my business. Continue. They play. Do you understand? You are directed. You are directed. None of us will be alive here. Are you, do you know that the shape of a baby can be disfigured if she's not properly directed? Are you aware that the head is like uh, very uh, is very soft? Very what? Soft. Sometimes when a baby is born and they not see that the, the, the that 
that same hour that the head shape is not in order, a very intelligent midwife quickly position the head. Otherwise, you could just see the head. That's where it could be. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> Don't look at your neighbor. Say, neighbor, your, your head is fine. <laughs> they press your own well. <laughs> if you know what i'm talking about that's why hello hello please relax look at look face forward <laughs> stop looking at your neighbor's head <laughs> so because properly directed are you hearing me say no yes everything about it's just after a while just i don't know i'm not a medical person but within a short time everything becomes to be strong but almost everything some will press the nose immediately they begin to what align the nose they say no this nose need to be pointed small are you hearing what i'm talking about so if are you hearing me i have seen when mothers especially my mother when he's bet, betting children you know the way they would squeeze their hand carry their hand and put at the back you know you see all this omoga they are doing these days you live a first timer to be doing omoga that's why the baby is not strong when old mama has bet children they will turn the baby and shake the baby and throw the baby Throw the baby. Ah, throw the baby. Carry the hand and put on the back. Are you hearing? Me? Turn everywhere. You see, baby. Those are the kind of children that scatter house. <laughs> Not the one where you keep him at four years. Where he stay? Stay here. He stay here. No, something is wrong. No, 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 no. So the push. So when you are connected to the proper destiny midwife, your destiny push becomes easy. Did you understand? Pastor, what do you think of this? Should I go in this direction? Okay, go and pray. Go and pray. A lady brought a man to me. She is a daughter of Ark of Green, but has been away for a while and she was in school. And she called me that day. I want to see you a man. Came. The man actually has come before. And I look at her. I said, if you enter this marriage, rain will beat you very well. And she now shared with me. I said, Daddy, I had a dream the other day. And then the roof of the house where I went with him, the roof was removed. I said, I have spoken. I don't want to talk too much. I said, he doesn't have the covering. I will cover you very well. I didn't say he won't impregnate you. I didn't say you won't give birth. But rain, you will cry. Why? What is pursuing him is not ready to deal with his head. Do you know sometimes a woman doesn't need to work hard too much. Just enter into the life of a man. Or let a man who has a good covering over his head come into your life. Every story changes. That is the truth. That is the truth. That is the truth. I don't care how a woman is successful. Women want to be taken care of. Just come. Are you, that is the truth. All the cars women are buying for themselves. Check. Corolla. Spider. <laughs> but check the one people are buying for them. Serious cars. How many women buy serious car for themselves? There are few. I didn't, I didn't say they are not buying. I said there are few. There are some of you that are too stubborn. You want to do as men do. You know you. But that is what I'm talking about. Just enter a good covering. What did I say? Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Number three, what happens? What happens when you are under such? What happens quickly? Hallelujah. Amen. Complication becomes child's play. Does it happen? What did I say? I'm using midwife to talk about prophetic covering, prophetic technique covering. Complication becomes child's play. If you watch your life that is going from complication to complication to complication, you are five years in a church and the complication you came with has now become more complicated. Check them. Check it. Complications become child's play. In other words, it's, it, it, it becomes nothing. 
And let me tell you number four because I'm rushing. Praise God, somebody. When you are connected to the right destiny, I can give you scripture for all of this. Praise God. Bleeding is stopped. Healing is set in motion. Bleeding is stopped. Healing is what set in motion. Have you bled in life? Have you bled financially? Have you bled maritally? Bleeding is stopped. Healing is set in motion. Everything has not become perfect, but there is a healing in motion. Who is hearing me here? Are you hearing me? Everything. Are you hearing me? The fight has not totally stopped, but at least it has reduced. Healing is set in motion. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Preservation and protection becomes the order of the day. These are the things. Connect to the right cover. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Don't, 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 take, don't take your destiny lightly. For those of you that are called to ministry, I can tell you this. There is a limit to which a man can go without covering a ministry. I want to ask you a question. Why is it that some of the biggest uh, names in the body of Christ are sons of Oyedekbo? How come a nature is the one that built after his father, 100,000 sitter? It takes an ego to raise an ego. Not a vulture. How come you can choose two prominent sons of Edeko? Ibiome and Neche. There are many others. So. How come? Till tomorrow, you see Papa Edeko. He has been under the fatherhood of Papa E.A. Adeboye from inception of the ministry. God told him, I want you to go to my son. Let him lay hand on you. I don't want you to go as others go. Foolishly. You will see him at his level. Once in a while, you see him bring a cup land. His financial mentor. He will lay hand on him. These things are very serious. Doesn't it matter? You see, all this one, look, because you see small comfort, you think you have arrived. Okay? Ask yourself a question. Who covers you? Don't say I didn't tell you. I'm giving you one of the uncommon messages. Are you, not that people don't preach. You don't hear this because people think it's about, uh, it's not about come and live, uh, live in the house of a pastor. You can live with a pastor and not collect grace. Yes, you can live with a pastor and not collect grace. Who is hearing me? Many we are touching him. And all of a sudden the woman said, in her heart, I'm talking about heart connection. If I'm able to touch, the hem of his garment, I shall be made whole. And she came from the press behind and pressed and pressed. Issue of blood, smelling. Many are pushing her and she touched. And Jesus turned, said, Who touched me? So the disciples were there touching and were not collecting anything. There is a touch that collects. 2018, I connected to Jerry Z, one on one. 2017, I chat him. I was frustrated. It was December. I told my wife and my household, they wanted to go to my parents' house. I said they should go. I don't want to go. I needed to be left alone. And I went and left alone. And I cried. I cried. Nothing was working. I cried. And in the midst of that cry, I had an impression in my spirit. Connect to Jerry, is it? And I search. I have never heard him preach. But just once he came with uh, my mentor to Asaba. Because they are close. And I opened Facebook. And I chat him. I said the Lord said I should connect to you. I need a father. I don't want to be. I want to be fathered from close. And after two weeks he replied. Facebook. And then gave me his number. And said see me in Jan February. February round conference 2018 we met. He embraced me. There was no NSPPD then. God already saw the future. There was no NSPPD. There was no Abuja. It was just Umaya there. And then he embraced me. He said, I receive you as my son. And he opened his mind and said, I will help you. I don't know what he meant by that. I'm not the type that go to men of God and expect them to give me money. 2018, story started changing. The first international door opened. Somebody just called because there is a covering. A man spoke a word. Never gave me one naira. Does not need to give me one naira. Why? A covering. I receive you. 
if I looked at his age, that maybe biologically I'm a senior, I won't connect. That is his problem. Uh, when did this one stand in history? That is making noise. Every time, program, program, I won't rest. Stay there. That's why you are where you are. Be there. Be playing. Be playing. <sighs> More than six years older. This thing, grace has no mate. It's only in the village that people compare age. How old are you? You know, Obo? And that is it. I connected to him through my mentor and I connected to two of them. If, if, you, if I misbehave today, my household knows who to call. My wife has the wife's number. If you do wrong now, who, who calls you to order? If you slap your wife now, who can tell you you did wrong? Nobody. Yeah, it's No, 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 no. Nobody tells me how to live my life. I'm an adult. How old are you? Are you as old as Methuselah? You want to pack your bag and throw her out overnight. Who can call you to order? Even God, they fear you. Even God is afraid of you. Even God is afraid of you. There are things I can do. There are people I will not invite to this altar. Why? Because I know that uh, they have uh, they are not straight. Why? Because my father and the Lord, in fact, if he sees it with the, with the flex, the first thing he asks me, Father, see me. He doesn't talk, he won't talk to me. First thing tomorrow in Abuja, be in my office. He won't talk, he won't discuss it on phone. And I said, I see, have you joined them? I want to know so that I can disconnect you now. And God said, connect. I cried. Broke. Two years rent was being owed. Two years. Can you imagine a pastor preaching that God is good? The Lord will do it. And then, you know, as I'm entering the house, I'll be entering small, small. Yes, because I don't want to meet our landlady. By then, she was very angry with us and wasn't answering our greeting. My wife would tell me, she greeted landlady, she didn't answer. I said, why would she answer? Why would you have? <laughs> two years. So when I see people, they are doing two months. You want to break our, I say, ah, they don't want to help person. You, you don't understand where we are coming from. Church was owing for four years. Covering! What am I doing now that I didn't do then? In fact, I'm fasting more then than I'm, not, I'm fasting now. Because then, I mean, I don't have work. Nobody's disturbing me. There's no deep deliverance to do. So I do dry fasting. I can be on 14 days with water only. It's not that I'm relaxed. All oh, this one we are doing 6 to 3. And you think, well, this is general, just maintenance fast. Then it's when I fasted serious fasting. My mother is here. She will look at me one day say, No, be so I have born you. When I gave birth to you, you were fat. My mother, he said, You were a big baby. He said, You are too lean. Be eating. My mother will package food from my father's house and bring to me, not to, to add to the one that I'm eating. She doesn't know that it's not. Are you hearing what I'm saying? I was fasting more. But a covering made the whole thing easy. He has not been here, but the grace. Two years, April. 16th was two years seems of joy abuja october here will be 16th october will be our two years here the, as you see us position that's how their church is positioned on umwa here and that's how they are positioned in abuja on major road no off we don't go off anywhere we stay on major road by grace as you see the way we are like this, you stop in front of our church. That's how you stop in front of the church in Umwa here. That's how you stop in front of the church in Abuja. Grace works. Grace works. Anything trying to offend you, to disconnect you from the house God has planted you, is against your destiny. Don't say I didn't tell you. It's against your destiny. If you hear me, sigh here. Are you hearing me? If you hear me, sigh here. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. So I said, number one. Uh, what happens when you are connected to the right prophetic destiny midwife? I say you understand your destiny delivery timing. Number two, I said the push becomes 
properly directed. Number three, I say complication becomes a child's play. Number four, bleeding is stopped and healing is set in motion. Number five, protection and preservation becomes the order of the day. Hallelujah. And how do you identify your prophetic midwife? Number one, it is number one, make up your mind to identify the, that this is the place I belong. This is the church that is my church. This is the man of God. Are you hearing what I'm talking about? Identify. Don't go to quacks. Don't assume. Don't pay attention to anybody talking to you on the road. That is not it. Number two. Let's go to the meat of the matter. How do you identify? Number two is by divine revelation and divine direction. There are many of you in this church. Nobody invited you. You saw the church in your dream. That was God showing you. Go there. Some people, as so you are here, as you are just passing, something is telling you, go to, that's your church. You are here, if you are here, raise your hand, let me see that. Something, you are just passing. Something just leaped from the picture and hit you. It just, you had that impression, it's strong. Number three, how do you identify? This is very important, heart to heart connection. Can I hear shout heart to heart? You know, you know, that, that, that swelling of love. Are you hearing me? That swelling of, you just love your God. You know, are you hearing me? Are you hearing what I'm talking about? Do you know that there is a level of love you love God, love the house, love the grace on the man of God. Things just open for you. Can I shock you? Love is the greatest charm. The grace you don't love cannot bless you. Hey God. You see love? You see all those half hearts I can tell you, I have never seen it. Both male and female. That this, it's a heart to heart. Someone say heart to heart. Heart to heart. Heart to heart. It's just, you know, everything is your concern. Uh, this TV, can't we replace it? Out of love. Not that you, you do get. Not that you have. I can, I can, if I use people to do example, you would think I'm trying to blow their trumpet. Some people don't even know what is working for them. They don't even know that there is a love generated grace. It is just there. Are you here? I'm kind of, they, they just love. That if, even if they express the love too much, even you that is watching, you misunderstand. Say now, wow. You sure say this is where they see. Get a CBO. view. Are you sure there is not? You see, your problem is that to you, everything, you know, the Bible says to the pure, everything is pure. To the crooked, everything is crooked. To the immoral, every, everything is immoral. If I hold this one hand now, every Sunday, this man now that is taking, which is fine, beer, beer, every Sunday, I hold him like this. If by the time I hold him for a whole three months, he says, check, I'm that person again. <laughs> you are laughing. The heart of man is very deep. The heart of man, what? Is what? Very deep. Very what? Very deep. Very deep. That's why they made me in our former, before we enter where we are in Bosa. I said, no, I'm not going to allow any female walk around, walk in the office of Ark of Greatness. It was a decision of the high order. We made it as a rule. No female. Why? Because of what people were saying. The one that walked there, the next thing is pastor's girlfriend. But I have not grown. When I grew, are you hearing me? Eh? And I started seeing gifts. Since some females started working in the office, I have peace. I have peace. I didn't say the males are not working. But I, you know what I mean? Peace. If I call this my daughter now, come here. You know, some people go down watch. Some people go down watch us. Do you know they go down watch two of us, Lillian and Pastor? You should say nothing. They go on. <laughs> the Lord deliver you from the uh, to, to. true or not true. They go down. Even you, you watch when you came. I'm not talking to you, but just in case. <laughs> I don't want you to raise your hand, but you, as you came, where's pastor's wife? He's not sitting there. This one did there every time. Bro, bro, bro. I should carry pastor bag. She go give pastor. I should hooky. 
He sure said nothing for long. <laughs> Come and beat me. Come and beat me. <laughs> to the pure, everything is pure. There is nothing, there can never be anything because there is no need for anything. Kingdom. Ah. When are you going to love, learn to love purely? Pure. Love that is beyond kissing and, and uh, the other matter, the other one. You suspect every daughter of God that come to greet their father and the Lord. Yeah, this one, why did they go greet daddy? And so they go to show them. Stay. No, it's very important. Free people. I know that when the children of God gather, Satan is not so gathered. But please, no. Allow people to love the Lord. Allow people to love the Lord. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It is this love that Lord wants people to be in the house of God. Who can pay for what people does in church? Who can pay for what ushers do, for what sanitation does, for what singers do? Who can pay? Who can pay? Who can pay for what they do? We can only appreciate when we are given opportunity. Surveillance, people are outside. You are inside heat. In case you don't know, outside is hot. Are you aware that outside is hot? Who can pay them for that? At one point, the, uh, the, church, uh, the church administration consulted police that will be going with me, about two police that they, you know, where I was to be giving for police. The payment was, after we have registered with about 500 to 600,000 naira in different processes, and then both here and Abuja, I can't remember. And then I was, every month was to be 220,000 naira, plus accommodation and food. Every month. The our papers is there. If I want tomorrow, I can't. I said, no, nobody will look for me. Make a work. <laughs> I'll just be going. Who is hearing me? Who can pay? It is this love for connectivity that make people just love God. They want to clean here. They want to sweep the house. They want to do this. They want to give. They want to labor. Which one are you doing? And then some people, what they come to church to do is to observe who get a fine car, who look like big man. After Sunday, now for you are waiting for somebody at the, by their car. Stop it! Stop disturbing people and allow people to come to church and go in peace. We thought we are shouting. After this service, some people will still go and disturb. In case you didn't hear me, you don't go. So people will not want to come to church again because you know some people will line. You will not line up. Is it as if we are the one who is sending you? Meanwhile, if you connect to the word of God, are you hearing me? You will become the helper of others. You will become what? Anybody with a mind to take never goes far. Anybody with a mind to give always come up. Check the heart. Anybody that has a heart to give will always rise. Check it. Whether it's a ministry or business. Anybody that has a heart to give will always rise. Write it down in capital letter. You can take it to the bank. I don't want to talk too much. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. So, heart, can I hear shout heart to heart? Somebody shout heart to heart. Can I hear shout heart to heart? Heart to heart. I can't hear shout heart to heart. You just know. Heart to heart. Heart to heart connection. Now, hallelujah. Heart to heart connection. Praise God, somebody. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. And how do you know also? The last one, how do you know? You begin to see your life, everything about your life begin to wake up. You can't pray before you start praying. You don't like church before. You just love church. The daughter spoke to me, Daddy, I don't like church, but I'm just, I just find myself getting addicted to church. Yeah, it is because you have entered the right atmosphere. You have entered the right environment. So everything is waking up. You, you're asking yourself, <laughs> if you, some of your friends see how serious you are in church, <laughs> they will even tell you, I say, there's something you are looking for that church. You tell me the truth. Because you can't believe yourself. Now you be this. Some of you are not climbing pulpit. Ah, <laughs> something is inside here. 
Who is hearing me? So you begin to see yourself. Everything begins to align. Even yourself, you begin to align. Your destiny begins to wake up. Who is hearing me here? You just love the Lord. Who can pay you for what you do? That's why when I stand here, I said I'm fasting for workers. You didn't know why. Because I'm, I'm, I look at people, what they do. Big men, big women. In their cars, in their houses, in their money. They will still come and serve as if they are nobodies. I said, God, what can I do for these people? Who can pay the cameraman that is standing here? Who can pay the people that are taking care of children? It is love. Connectivity is always expressed by love. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. You see everything waking up. So how do you, how do you benefit from a prophetic connection? How do you? Number one, hallelujah. Number one, don't hide yourself from your midwife. I use that as an example. Please can I not talk to me? A woman wants to give birth. And she said, I beg. They are telling you, madam, remove dress. You say no. <laughs> That's why they chase away males. Because this is not a place for fashion and design. Are you hearing me? They say, madam, do what? Remove dress. All this covering where you they cover, 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 cover. You are dying inside. It's a little bit open. I need help. Things are you don't read. I'm dying. Madam, remove heat day, remove cloth. He said, No, I think they look my naked. Eh? You know what I'm born. <laughs> Nobody cares. It's after maybe one week. You begin to get yourself. Some three days, some four days, depending on the strength, some up to one month. You now remember that you have eye pencil. You now look at it. I won't see as my face be safe. I don't change you. It is there you remember who you are. Because you have just given birth to a life that can give birth to a life that can give birth to a life. You are carrying life. That idea, if you give birth to it, the whole village, your whole village will be employed. Some of you here, if only you will align, your star will give job to many others. Some of you are employers of labor. Who is hearing me here? Somebody shout a big hallelujah. So open up. He that covereth his sin shall not prosper. He that confesseth and, uh, 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 and forsake shall what? Have mercy. Number two, follow instruction. Do what? Follow instruction of your midwife. Don't push, don't push, don't push. Wait. Please, uh, uh, don't talk to me. Abi, he said, wait, it's not yet time. It's not yet time. Hold on small. Hold, 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 hold. Oh, yeah, 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 madam, get ready. Get ready. Oh, yeah, it's time to push. 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 A beloved daughter of God in the other campus lost a baby. There was nothing wrong. There was no devil. Only that she was not opening her leg. I went to the hospital. I look at this baby. I've seen babies. This one, fine. Male. Thank God she's pregnant again. I've been warning her. It's all this mecha mecha that you are doing. Better stop it. Couldn't. So after the delivery, I actually asked the midwives away. Then what happened? I said, Pastor, we're even glad that she's alive. Say she was not opening her leg. That we were afraid we were going to lose her. Not just the baby. It was our first time. And that is why. When somebody cannot push, what do they do? They tear the baby out. Let me say this. Not that I'm, I'm trying, trying to tell you not to have faith in safe delivery. Operation is not a sin. Put it in your mind. Operation is not a sin. Operation is not a sin. It's that mentality that makes you think operation is a sin. That's why many have lost their lives, lost babies. It's not a sin. I don't know who told you it's a sin. If you hear me, say I hear. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. Some people now push complication, now enter. Baby didn't survive. And things. Are you hearing me? And don't say don't have faith. Have strength. It's beautiful. Are you hearing me? But it is not a sin if it is necessary. Please sign the papers. If you hear me, say I hear. So faith is not foolishness. 
So, follow instruction. What did I say? Nothing annoys God. I told the daughter of God, I mean, and maybe she's here hearing me. I said, go to Bonsa campus. I said, you've had a history, relationship history with a man that is here. Two of you cannot be in the same campus since you are not marrying. Before you came here, you had a relationship history. Go to the other campus. You they play with instruction. How do you want to go far? You think you, you know better. I said, you have a relationship history. One day you are going to marry. You have a history. One day she's going to, he, he is going to marry. You have a history. You are looking at yourself. To avoid small, 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 small bitterness entering the heart. Forget to, there is a history before you came here. I said, you are lucky we even have two campuses. Go to the other side. He's here. Or he go there, you stay here. Two of you cannot be here. Why? I have seen the future. Instructions. Some people don't follow instructions. Why stay under a God whose instruction you don't trust? If you hear me say here. Number three, and this is where I, I don't know if number three or number four. Guard your heart against offenses. You, look, God is perfect, but our systems and structures may not be perfect. Be careful you don't get offended in the house of God. If you hear me say I hear. Did you hear what I just said? That thing that offends you in the choir, offends you in the ocean department, your leader says this is what we are doing. Well, okay, why are you getting offended? You want your department to move forward. Why are you getting offended? That they told you this. That they, I got against offenses. The greatest sin of spiritual people is offense. Let me tell you, if you're a minister here, if you left to a, a church with offense, go and reconcile. As you see me, you remember last year we gave car to the man that I was his resident pastor in Ibadan. Uh, till tomorrow, you see him in fact make a post, he has commented because there is no offense between us. He didn't even ordain me. Are you hearing me? I was not his. Uh, you understand? I, I didn't grow under him. He just saw the grace in me and he gave me opportunity to be his resident pastor. I still call him daddy. Our church has gone beyond where their church is, but I still call him daddy. That's what I call him. Don't leave offense. All this anger. Are you hearing me? <laughs> Don't leave a place out of offense. It's no good. It's no good. Go and make amends. Go and make amends. If you hear me, sir, here. Don't allow any grace to be angry over your head. Go and do your best to make sure that you pacify that offense. Are you hearing me? I'm not saying anybody pronounce anything. Nobody needs to pronounce anything against you. But the devil is looking for offense to be, bring, bring a stumbling block to people's path. From east, west, north and south. Everywhere I have served. I can step back there and I'm received. In fact, I will be received with red carpet. From Paraco to Ibado. Stay away from offenses. You get offended, you left the choir, you start sitting in the congregation. We should clap for you. No, we should clap for you. They remove you from the group. Uh, why did they remove you? Why didn't they listen to me before removing me? We remove you. In fact, maybe I'm even the one that removed you. Sometimes I'm the one that ordered the remover. So that you will listen. Stay away from offense. Offense must surely come. John the Baptist said, this is he. I ran off from here. This is he, the Lamb of, the, uh, of God that will take it away the sin of the world. And then when he suffered many things, he got offended. He said, go and ask him, are you the Son of God that should come or should we look for another? Please, can you reconcile these two scenarios? You say this is he that takes this, uh, the sin of the world. In fact, the shoes of whose latchet I am not worthy to lose. This is he that I told you that is coming after me. I must reduce, I must decrease, and he must increase. And then the next thing he said, is he the one that is to come or should we look for another? And Jesus said, go and tell him. The sick are healed. The lame walk. The blind see. The dead are raised. Say, blessed is he that is not offended in me. It was after that he lost his head. You get offended with a church. Some people, you know, let me tell you some people's offense. Some people, maybe they are the, I've seen it not in this generation now. You know, a lot of things have changed. Maybe, you know, those days where there is a particular man that is a financial pillar of church. And the man all of a sudden said, no, no, no. 
I hear me, Pastor, you preach against me. You won't see one naira from me in this ministry anymore. I mean, if you know things like that, they withdraw their tithing, they withdraw their giving. And then I have seen a case where Pastor with his wife, an elder, went to kneel down to beg an elder. I like my grace, so I grace too much. Beg you. I said, hello. I said, I should come and help you to pack. You want to go? Move. Before you step out of the door, seven greater than you has replaced you. Went to beg. One pastor told me that he took his elders, that is, his elders went to beg a particular, uh, uh, this one does, he's not even being uh, counting money. He counts money. They went to beg him, beg the wife. I said, and they knelt down. Ah, he said, Pastor, what should I do? I said, Pastor, just don't worry. Don't bring this case to me. You beg. They called a man of God to come and take a car. He said he's not coming. I think it was Paul and Nature. They called him. Said, come and take a car. He said, I'm not coming. The man with says, Tell him I'm not coming. Priests don't go to take offerings. You bring offerings to priests. He said, If you want to give God a car, you should bring it. What come? Come and take. Uh, there's one of my car in the garage. Come and carry it with left hand. If you want to give God something, give with honor. Yes, sir. Any pastor that doesn't have dignity is limited. He said, Tell him I'm not coming. We're not coming. Why? Well, did, did you see? Let's assume this is an altar. Did you see this altar move to anybody to come and go? Altar went to ATM. I'm telling you, I'm talking to both leaders and ministers so you know what you are doing. Are you hearing me? Have dignity. Have respect for your head. If you are hearing me, say I hear. Avoid offenses. Any sin is you in your department. Know that you are not there to serve man. You are serving God. Who are you serving? You are serving God. Don't get offended. If you are corrected, don't use the opportunity. You jump from department to department. You are corrected. Serve your the sentence of your correction. Sometimes God is using these corrections to train us. Some of you, you, you are impatient and God, you are single. Single man, single man. And God is training you to be patient with people. You will soon marry. And we know whether you are going to punch out the eye of that wife. Learn patience now. People are offending you in your department. I can tell you, that woman will be anointed to offend you. Any husband here that your wife has not offended, I give God praise for your life. And I'm, I'm thanking God. I, when I grow up, I will be like you. Somebody shout a big amen. Tell anybody, avoid offenses. What did I say? Stay away! Jesus said, let's be on our feet. Jesus said to a woman, healing is the children's bread. I will not take what belongs to the children and give to who? Dogs. If you hear that from any pastor, it will become the it will trend. Pastor call members dog. Say there is a church, not in Asaba. There is a church in one village where the pastor calls members dogs. Are you hearing me? That's why anybody is talking anyhow against pastors now. Because data is cheap. He said, How can I give take what is precious and give to dogs? And the woman, instead of getting offended, she said, Master! Even the dogs eat of the crumbs that fall under their master's table. Jesus turned and said, Woman, great is your faith. You can collect anything from God if you stay away from offense. Did you hear what I just said? If you what? Stay away from offense. Even in marriage, don't hold offense too, offense too long against your husband or against your wife. If you hear me, say I hear. You are connected together. You are holding offense. This is one month. Two of you are not talking together. And you go to church. Offense has even divided some home. When you go to Cherubin and Seraphim. Me, I go to uh, this place. It doesn't work that way. Some homes, the blessings are blocked because of offense. Immediately offense give way. Blessings will come. Lift up your hands. And say, Father, help me. To be rightly connected. Would you open your mouth and speak to him? Speak to him. Help me not to miss it. Help me not to miss it. 
help me not to miss it. One of the ways you, you benefit from, from, from prophetic midwife connection, grace connection, prophetic connectivity, is by honor. Honor. Honor the Lord. That's how you honor the Lord with your tithe. It is not paying God. You can't give. No, none of us is richer than God. It is honor. Giving tithe is an honor to God. That's part of the connectivity. Lift up your hands and say, Lord, give me grace. In any way, I have missed it. Help me to put it right. Now I declare, I declare that my heart is aligned to grace. My heart is aligned to grace. I drop every offenses in my heart. I can't hear you. I drop every, every offenses in my heart, in my mind. I drop every offenses. My heart is aligned. My heart is connected. Help me in the name of Jesus to be better than I am. And Lord, I declare with your hands lifted. Lord, I declare. Can I hear a shout? Lord, I declare. Lord, I declare. Lord, I declare. Lord, I declare. That everything must align. That everything must align for my good. For my good. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Somebody shout a big amen. Amen. That is why get that video ready now. That is why we connect to crisis. And to con con to conclude our forty days destiny elevation, we are bringing a grace. It is grace connectivity. If you are Messiah here. I hear Hallelujah. When you play the video, you put off the lights when I'm ready now. Just get ready to put off the light. That is why we connect to put off the lights as they get the re re videos ready. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Grace connectivity. We don't bring men of God because we have not heard preaching. Almost everything a man of God is going to hear a uh, preach. If you're a good listener, you must have heard something like that. Yes, sir. Many of us, that, that, some of you can even preach something better than uh, better than that can somebody move fast and follow the instruction of the lights and then get ready so i want to play a video hallelujah i want to play a video i would prefer if you off the altar lights media i expect better uh, operation of this not the congressional lights hallelujah just one of or two of the congressional lights so i'll play a, a, a video of our man of god hallelujah put put off the down light now a video of a man of God that will be coming. Please cancel everything you have to do Friday 5th and Saturday morning 6th. Everything you have to do. Everything that evening. That's why this week we are not meeting. Are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Pay attention. Pay attention. Church, are you hearing me? Yes, sir. Have your seat. Media expect better operation without even having to say it. Now, hear me. This week, we are not meeting for Destiny Elevation, but we are still on fast. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, we are not meeting here. The only meeting we have here is Thursday midweek service. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I may have midnight fire. You want to come and join me live here? You are free to join. Praise God, somebody. Hallelujah. But we are not meeting apart from Thursday. We are mobilizing. And then the same thing goes for next week. But by Friday, we receive him. I don't want anybody to be missing. You are hearing me. Don't say I'm busy. All this business, you are busy, busy here and there. 